maybe I'm mistaken, but it seems like there's an increase of long-nosed people trying to stick their nose into my business and tell me, you know, how many people I can have in my home for Thanksgiving or whether I should wear a mask on my face or where I should stand in a public space, how close I should stand to them. Corpulent electronic media corporations seem determined that when I publish a post that they want to put their words in beside mine, kind of modify what I have to say or, or nullify what I have to say, or, or maybe even delete my post altogether. After perhaps the most corrupt election in living memory, the Homeland Security Department wants me to know that this was the most secure election ever. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe it is. But it's also possible that we're living in a time when the only acceptable way of thinking is groupthink. And I'm not okay with that. How are Christians going to fare when this censorship type behavior, this everybody's knows in my business behavior, is applied to the Christian faith? when we publish a news report of our baptisms. Are we okay with the big fat media corporation putting in a note beside it saying something about what we believe? When we publish something uh, encouraging people to live a healthy lifestyle, do we want uh, them to come in, these random people we don't know who they are? Or maybe it's an AI telling people uh, what they say that cancels out what we have to say. Are we okay with that? What's it going to be like if if this is the way our life just continues? Are we okay with these big fat media corporations fact-checking the things that we publish? Who, who asked them to do that? God's Bible message does ask us to care about others, but a part of that caring is to respect their right to their own opinion and their own liberty. When I ask someone if they would be interested in a Bible study and they turn me down, I treat them kindly. I walk away silently praying for their good. In other words, I treat them how I would like to be treated if I were in their shoes. I think that the long-nosed people who finally arrive in heaven will have shorter noses before they get there.